Hello there, my name is Robin Norgren and I am a third grade teacher in Arizona and I wanted to share with you um, a brief tutorial about conjunctions and this can be used as a homework option or just a refresher as you prepare um, to come back to school or just something you can use as you're doing your homework just to remind you um, how to um, think about conjunctions. Uh, so let's get started. So today we're just going to do a very general overview of conjunctions because conjunctions actually can be broken up into two different types of conjunctions. But for today, I'm going to keep it just nice and simple. We're going to just learn about the general category of conjunctions. Let's take a moment and answer this first question. How many parts of speech do you know? Now, by third grade, you've probably been introduced to nouns and to verbs, to adjectives, and maybe just a brief uh, introduction to adverbs. So this will be another part of speech that you now can add to your repertoire as, um, as you become a more proficient uh, reader and writer. Conjunctions are used to join two words or phrases together in a sentence. Conjunctions help us to express complex ideas with longer sentences. Now for the next few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the most common conjunctions that you probably hear all the time, you notice that the word is helping something to occur in a sentence, but now we're going to shine a light on what it is, what's happening specifically. So the most common conjunction is the word and. I'd like you to talk with your partners or talk in a group, and can you each come up with a sentence that has the word and? Now, as you have this time to think, we're going to find out if you're using the word and in a way that is joining two phrases, thoughts, or sentences together. Notice that as you're talking with your partner. Listen to their sentence. Is that what their sentence is doing when they use the word and? All right, so here is an example of one of the, se the sentences you might have said. I like to color and paint. And is the conjunction. Do you see what it's doing there? Right there in the sentence, we're finding out that someone likes to do two things, color and paint. Do you see how the word and is joining two different um, hobbies or likes together? Here's another way we could say it. I like to color. I like to paint. I like to draw. I like to fish. <laughs> That's what makes the word and so handy because you can say all of those things simply by dropping the I like to and inserting the word and. Here's another word that we categorize as a conjunction the word or. Do you like red or blue? Take a moment now to do the same exercise with your partner or with your group and use the word or as a connector. Here's another word we call a conjunction or a connector, the word but. I like cats, but not dogs. Talk with your partner. Think about a sentence that you could use the word but in. All right, so I have introduced you to three conjunctions, an, or, but. Here's another one, the word so. I stayed up late, so I am tired. Do you notice something different happening with this connector? Take a moment to talk with your partner about it. 
See if you can come up with a sentence where you would word, use the word so and notice what the sentences are doing as you combine these two sentences together. Now, some would say it's a cause and effect because I did this, this is what happened. So the word so is doing something different than the words and, but, and or. All right, let's do a little review. Which word is the conjunction in this sentence? He had a ball and some blocks. If you said the word and, you are correct. All right, here is your time to practice this, um, this skill of working with conjunctions. So if you have an ELA notebook or if you have a designated space where you write any sort of exercises that you're doing uh, for ELA, this is the exercise you will be doing. You are going to take these words or, or these, um, these uh, topics and you're going to use the words and, but, or, and so. Now, it is up to you how you and your teacher decide to do this, or if you're at home homeschooling, how your, your um, homeschool partners are going to do this together. I have written it so that you would use the word hot dog and the word hamburger together with the word and. I have scooter and the car with the conjunction but. I have basketball and soccer ball with the word conjunction or, and I have uh, silly or party and love with the word so. Now, you may do it each one, uh, just as I have lined them out, or you can mix and match them however you'd like. But at the end of this exercise, you will have used an, but, or, and so, as conjunctions correctly written in a sentence. Enjoy!